Hi, so this is going to be a quick uh, tutorial on how to do multicam editing in Premiere Pro 2019. Um, so I'm using Premiere Pro 2019, obviously, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to get all your clips. Um, in this case, I've got one, uh, five cameras. You can see one, two, three, four, five cameras on here. And then I've got those audio streams below. And I've got uh, all my recorders as well. And everything's been synced. Um, I use a plugin called Pluralize, and you can see that up here, extensions, window extensions, Pluralize 4. And what that does, it'll sync uh, pretty much anything you throw at it. So I, as long as it has an audio um, stream, you can sync it. And it does a pretty good job. You can see here at the end, it didn't do everything. But let's get back to the multicam editing. So I, once you have everything synced, um, you put it in the timeline. I'm going to select all the video tracks here that I want synced. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and say uh, nest. So right click and say nest. And I'm going to say ceremony um, multicam one and say click OK. So you can see that made a sequence here. But now we go multicam demo. OK, so now we've got this multicam, right? Now what I want to do is I want to right click and say uh, multicam which is in the middle of the menu here, and, and then enable it. Now what that does is that allows this nested sequence to be multicam edited. So from there, you want to go uh, up to this menu item. If We're going to click the button editor, and we're going to look for an icon that looks like this one that I already have activated. So um, say I don't have it activated. And I find it here. It says toggle, toggle multi-camera view. So I'm going to click that and drag it down to the menu item. And click OK. So now that it's on the menu item, I can click it. And you can see here in this scenario, I've got different camera angles. So let's go to one where I have five. So here's the five. And now I can start to play the video, push spacebar or play, and then I can click to each camera angle that I want to show. And then I go out of that. Okay, and in addition to clicking, you can also use the keyboard. So I can push 2 and go back to 5 and go to 3. So all I'm doing is pushing 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Let's go to 4. And let's go back to 1. And we'll go to 5. Go to one. Okay, so once that's done, we'll stop it. And if you zoom in on the timeline, you can see that we've made our changes here. So this MC1 means multi-camera one, MC5 is multi-camera five, and so on. So you can see this is camera angle two, this is five, this is two, five, and you know as it changed it. So that, say there's an angle that you don't like, and you want to just swap it. So you hover over and activate that section of the timeline. Say I want to use this number four, this camera angle four. I can either push four or I can select it with just the mouse. So I'm going to click it and you can see it changed from three to four or two to four. Um, and you can do that from all these clips and you can click and drag just like you would normal editing if you want to switch to different camera. You know, this one I might start there and switch back and things like that. And that's how you go about it. Um, if you want to edit the color and things like that, you can go back in here to this nested sequence, Ceremony Multicam 1, and I can actually edit the color in here um, on these clips, and it should update over in this area. So that's pretty much multicam editing as quick as I can do it. Um, hopefully that speeds up your editing uh, when you're doing you know, more than one camera if you're running a short film or if you're doing weddings or events. If you have questions, feel free to comment below. 
And then if you have uh, suggestions for videos that you'd like to see, whether it's photo or video editing, um, feel free to comment those as well. I'm looking to um, you know, help people expand their craft and learn how to edit quickly. So thank you again.